Uh, good afternoon, coach. Uh, welcome to our pre-match press conference before our game against Bengaluru FC. Uh, I've got some questions from the media as usual. Uh, the first question reads, with back-to-back -back games coming up and so many injuries, how are you looking to prepare against Bengaluru FC? Uh, of course, uh, it's, it's difficult when uh, the, the last part, the most important part of the season, uh, you have uh, injuries, but... Um, I think it's uh, not uh, time to 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 thinking about this uh, situation. It's time to thinking about uh, in all the teams already to help the team. In sometimes some players play in different position. Uh, sometimes players out of the squad now inside the squad. Some players they are not playing the lineup now playing the lineup. And exists a lot of reasons. Uh, uh, good because uh, some players wants to help the team is the most important. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, uh, given the current situation of the points table, do you still believe that the team can still finish at the top? Uh, for me, until the last moment, it's necessary to trust in this team. Uh, why? Because um, everybody knows this squad, these players are fighting all the season uh, until the last moment. Uh, in this case, I think it's, uh, it's our job like a uh, head coach, coaching staff and supporters to trust in this team, to trust 100% in all the players because it's incredible. They are working until the last second, every game, every training session. Yeah. Uh, like, in, uh, like in the last few games we have been seeing, your team has been creating a lot of chances, but then failing to finish a few. How do you look to resolve the goal scoring issues? Uh, sometimes unlucky, sometimes because the keeper of the opponent is good reactions. Sometimes, like, uh, for example, in case against Odisha, Hector Rodas was the performance of Hector Rodas, the centre-back of Odisha, who was incredible. Sometimes unlucky, sometimes because the opponents in the last moment of the reaction was, was good. But uh, repeat for me, the problem is when the, the team have not clear chances or when the team is... Uh, now, for me, is uh, uh, when you have six, seven uh, shoots on target. For me, it's because uh, this is not a problem. Okay, we need to improve, but this is not a big problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the injury status of the players like Sandesh, Williams, and Liston, who we saw were struggling in the last game? So, what is the status on them? But now it's okay. In case of uh, Willie, you know, it's. Uh, it's difficult because sometimes it's a hamstring area. Uh, also, is the reason why, for example, uh, Roy is is can play only 30 minutes, 40 minutes, step and step. Also with Cal. But, um, for example, in, uh, in case of Sunday, no, yes, Andy is, uh, is improving a lot in two weeks. Wow, it's, it's top. Of course, he's, he's very tired because when play a, a lot of games after six, seven months, it's normal. Uh, the, the body is not ready, but uh, <laughs> his mentality is incredible. All the time, explain the same. He's like Superman. He's uh, he's uh, working hard in the training sessions, and then in the games, he's push himself uh, all the all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we saw your team drop points in back-to-back -back matches. Considering the latest position of the league table, how confident are you to qualify for the knockout stages? Uh, now, to be honest, repeat the same. It's, uh, our target is tomorrow against uh, Bengaluru. Uh, try to get three points. That's all. Don't think in uh, so much in uh, in uh, extra things. For us, also sometimes I'm talking the same. Mm -hmm. Focus in Bengaluru, mm -hmm. and then the nine. He forget about it or what happened against uh, the, the different teams or what happened the results or the scores. Now forget it. The most important is our focus. It's very important. Uh, thinking for our footer of this club and this team uh, only thinking in our uh, in uh, in our team because uh, if you lose energy in uh, the results or the extra problems in other teams you lose uh, your your energy in your team coach i know you just said that you want to focus on the next game but there's a question that uh, the last match is against jamshedpur who are currently uh, almost running away at the top of the league so, uh, do you expect it to be the deciding match for being the table toppers? I hope. 
I hope in this case, I think for the ESL will be a, a great game. No, imagine if the last game you have final. No, <laughs> but uh, to be honest, I think it's unnecessary to to talk about this. No, to be honest, it's necessary. Win against Bengaluru, win against Chennai, yeah, then we'll see what happens. You know, yeah. but um, of course, in uh, for me, it's good if in the last game we have for one chance. Mm. To to be on top of the table, no. But uh, Bengaluru and Chennai, I, this is the 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 realistic uh, moment for us. Yeah, yeah. Coach, one problem that has persisted through the season for the team is the defensive problem, right? Uh, because even after Sandeep Singh and joined, the defense had not looked st- solid. In seventeen matches, your team has conceded twenty five goals. So, are you worried about the defense? Uh, what is the reason for it not, you know, getting the shape uh, that uh, it's been a while that the team has been playing together now? So, what is the reason that the shape has not been uh, like, you know, achieved yet? No, I repeat, uh, some goals. Nineteen uh, percent of the goals is for one, just one detail. It's uh, of course uh, need to change these details, but uh, this is the reason why it's necessary the training sessions. In our case, also a lot of teams, uh, we have no time for training session. If you have not have training session, it's impossible to improve in these details, you know, because at the end you're a play, recovery, play, recovery. Yeah. This is the reason. Uh, but uh, for me, uh, these details can change when you have precision, when you have time to training session. Okay, I think it's they calm and thinking about uh, um, thinking more in attack. Maybe we have two goals, three goals. Maybe it's difficult to lose. Maybe draw, but no lose. Yeah. <laughs> and then in this case, I prefer to put focus in attack than defense. Yeah. Uh, this season, Roy Krishna has not been at his best form like he was in the last couple of seasons. So, what do you think is the reason behind this? Are the teams uh, have the teams read his uh, style of play, or is it because of injuries and COVID and all the other situations? What is the reason? Yeah. This is the reason for the Roy Krishna. Roy Krishna, I think it's uh, has COVID, uh, then injury in his hamstring. It's normal the relation injury with COVID. Okay, a lot of players, but maybe the supporters don't know about his job behind of the team. Uh, Roy Krishna every training session when he was injury, when he was with COVID, when he was uh, out of the team, he support the players. He was very close, like a captain, and uh, to, to motivate the teammates, all the time support them, all the time was try to work with the team. Sometimes was our decision, the coaching staff to say, Roy, keep calm, it's better no, no play, it's better no training, it's better. This is the reason. Yeah. But uh, for me, it's, it's time to tell for everybody the, the maybe in front of the television, Roy Krishna is not the best uh, performance in this season. But behind, top, 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 uh, top mundial. <laughs> it's uh, the maximum. Yeah. If this is the reason for me, it's necessary sometimes to talk about the, the, the players uh, uh, when they are not in good performance, but his attitude. Uh, it's like this. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Okay. Uh, in the last game, uh, do you think the red card on Ro- of Roy was a little too harsh at the end? Well, to be honest, okay, maybe we talk about the first yellow card. I'm disappointing about this decision. The second, of course, is a, is a yellow card, but uh, because uh, we have no success about the pass and then the pressing was not good. But okay, this is a decision of the referee. We respect the, the decision of the referee. All the time explain the same. For me, the most important is the play. The referees protect the players. This is why so scary because we had some injuries uh, because they don't protect the players, you know. But in case of the, the yellow cards about uh, Roy Chris now, it's a decision of the referees. We respect this and, okay, accept uh, because it's part of the football. And that's all. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in your team, we haven't seen any real set-piece specialist who can score goals from set-piece uh, on, on a consistent basis. And he, uh, even Hugo Bumos, he seems kind of off. So, what do you think? What is your opinion on this? 
Yeah, this is uh, normal set pieces you need to work when when uh, you have time to prepare, to talk, to practice. Uh, to be honest, uh, I've not practiced about uh, a lot of set pieces. Uh, some details, of course, some details. But we have no time to work uh, a lot of time. Why? The reason is because uh, if you have uh, one hour or two hours of the training, in this moment it's better to work focus in the recovery, to work focus about tactical details. And at the end, uh, you are not so working a lot in set pieces because firstly, the mentality of the players, they are not ready to, to learn, to understand. The players now need rest, play, need rest. And of course, uh, thinking about the days of the finish the view of Abel, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after his derby hat trick, uh, Kian Nasiri did not have any significant impact on the other matches. Uh, what do you think is the reason behind this? Yeah, it's impact. Of course, no goals, but the the game of Kian against Hyderabad, when one two one, the game of of Kian was amazing. He attacked the free space. He created spaces. He at the end list an attack and also Mambiri. If you remember, Mambiri and Liston had two, three chances for the movement of the Kian. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. Against Kerala, for example, uh, was a little problem because never fixed the center back of, uh, of uh, the Kerala. But it's normal because uh, maybe in this moment we play three, two, three, two. In this moment, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand about the moment. But, uh, for example, against the last game against uh, Odisha, uh, two opportunities of Manbir was for the big clear action. He attacked the free space. Yeah. Okay, sometimes it's not necessary to talk about the goals, but the, the minutes of Kian in the pitch, wow, top. High performance, high performance, because it's a substitution and really held the team. Yeah. If this, is, uh, this is very good. If you are talking about goals, Okay, maybe no, but about the uh, accuracy pass, the, the success of the actions, it was incredible, incredible, very good. I'm very, very, very happy about the uh, about Kiana, about Abisek. Um, these players, um, for me, is uh, they have a good performance. Of course, it's the moment to try to find the moment, like in case of uh, Gil, Sahil, Vidya, you know, Rana, is that trying to find the best moment. To, yeah. to to help him, you know, because in this moment it's different, no? It's not necessary to help the team. Is maybe it's the team to help them, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, amazing, amazing to work with these players is amazing. If these players are out of the squad or in substitutions a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last question, coach, and this is on Bangalore FC finally. So, you know, what do you think are the strong points of Bengaluru FC? And uh, do you think Sunil Chetri is going to be a key factor for the match? Oh, it's, a, it's a good player. It's maybe he's the best top five players here in India, local players. Uh, he has a lot of experience. He, I know it's, it's necessary to take control about him because... Uh, uh, he knows a lot about the moments of the attack. He control. I think uh, for Chitri, for everybody, is uh, is uh, is necessary to put attention because uh, the performance the the Chitri all the season is very good. And also, I think it's one detail. He's very professional. He's fighting ninety minutes. It's very important. You know, normal uh, the performance of the players. It's two, three games good, one game more or less, then two games good. Chitri, for me, uh, the success of the career of Chitri is because every season, every game is in high level, you know. This is uh, very important to know. Yeah. And overall, as a team, uh, Bangalore FC, where, where, what are the strong points? What do you think? Uh, the most important point is uh, Bengaluru uh, has been clear clear point uh, plan about attack and what defense in attack uh, with Clayton Silva, Chitri, they they have controlled the space, they attack this space, very, very good. Uh, at the end, if you watch the games all the season, he continued in the same plan and in my point of view is is, is good plan because it's, it's be clear. And uh, in defense, in defense uh, is good because uh, everybody's working, everybody's working in press, Everybody is working in close and the timings is, is good. You know, it's not like 
uh, two teams, no, and three four players press, three four players. No, no, all the team is ready to go and press. All the, all the team is ready to close, or line the pass. All the, this, I think this is both points are very important. And of course, uh, set pieces, you know, uh, Clayton, G uh, three, you have uh, you have uh, chances for set pieces. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, coach. That's all the questions. Uh, all the best for tomorrow's game. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.